All right, Eric. Yeah. We're going on a date, but you need some business pants with cursive <laughs> pattern on it, and it needs to be the color of clay, because that sounds hot. All right, I'm <laughs> on it. You down for the challenge? Do, can I just start with regular pants? Sure. <laughs> Wow, this sounds way easier than anything you would do on Project <laughs> Runway. <laughs> well, it's not. Welcome to Press Any Button. I'm Eric. And I'm Nikki. And today we're talking about Project Runway. The video the game. The video game, not the... Not the show. Not the show. Project Runway was developed by Tornado Studios and published by Atari in 2010 for Wii and PC. It is a fashion simulation game based on the TV show... Players compete in fashion challenges, applying makeup, piecing outfits together, and performing a catwalk minigame. Players are then given a star rating for each minigame, along with an overall rating to find out if they pass the challenge. Ooh. And you pass the challenge of my heart. Oh. <laughs> so congratulations. Wow. That was really cute. <laughs> You're welcome for that. <laughs> so Eric, are you ready to take it back and learn about Project Runway, the video game. I, I want to see what happened, yes. All right. All let's right. Let's get into it. I feel like if Tim Gunn was in the room when they were making this game, he would have something to say. Oh, he definitely would. Tim Gunn always has opinions. If something seems off, he will usually let you know. So I'm surprised (laughs) they didn't just let him take a look at this game before they released it. I assume he had no idea. That surprised you? Oh, uh, he didn't have anything to do with this game? (laughs) No. Yeah, that's, that's why it ended up the way it did, I guess. Probably. They needed Tim Gunn. All right, so Eric, we're going to take it back to 2009. (laughs) I'm not surprised we don't go back all that much further than (laughs) when the game was released. And we're going to transport to Tulsa, Oklahoma. So what were you doing in 2009? 2009, I just got done with college. I was probably being depressed because uh, (laughs) the world was shit in 2009. No job, loaded in debt. (laughs) Yes, So, have you ever been to Tulsa, Oklahoma, Eric? No. I have, actually. Wow. One of my friends, Mikey, is from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I went out there to visit before, and it's a really cool town. Also, Hanson is from there, the band. (laughs) Okay. Um, But, yeah, it's a really cool town. It has a nice vibe. I think you would like it. Like, it's not too big, not too small, but it's got some cool places. It has, like, a personality. Okay. A lot of, like, Art Deco architecture and stuff. And then, like, you know, you see, like, the oil rig things, you mm-hmm. know, out there. So, kind of interesting. But um, this is where Tornado Studios is located. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Tornado Studios made the game, obviously. Yeah. But they're not your typical gaming company, I will say. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> they actually... Focus more on 3D services like 3D modeling, rendering, and scanning. I find that hard to believe. In fact, do you want to take a guess at how many other games they've made besides this one? I want to say a baker's dozen. Less (laughs) than that. I want to say four. Less. (laughs) One? Okay, they have... Three games all together, including wow. Project Runway for the Wii that we're talking about. Okay. One of them is called Fun with Death, and it was for iPhone and iPad. Whoa. came out in 2009. Fun with Death? Yeah. And then the other one was called Power Bike for Nintendo DS. Do you remember either of those? <laughs> no. <laughs> and that was 2008. So they did Power Bike in 2008. Fun with Death, 2009. Project Runway, 2010. So Project One Runway went with this company. They decided to trust them with their well, IP. Well, don't get ahead of okay. me, Eric. Sorry. Because you're going to find out 
soon. <laughs> <laughs> so Tornado Studios was working on a game already before they had the Project Runway IP. name to it. Yes. Yep. And it was called World of Fashion. Okay. And they pitched this game to Atari. Wait a minute. That sounds remarkably similar to, you know, like a Project Runway thing. Does it? World of Fashion. I mean, Project Runway is fashion adjacent. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> I guess. So they pitched it to Atari. And Atari's like, you know what would really make this game just exceed expectations? Is if we attached an IP to it. And we need a license. And so Atari reached out to uh, the company that owns Project Runway. The Weinstein company. <laughs> um, and they settled up an agreement. No no one's a fan of him. <laughs> oh, is that the same uh, Weinstein who did yeah. all those horrible things? Okay, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So anyways, they reached an agreement. And World of Fashion... Voila, is now Project Runway. <laughs> so they were pretty much already making this game. And then once they got the IP or the license or whatever, then they kind of made like the last touches. So they Basically had... Basically to, okay, create, so, so they to had, cater it towards the show. They had a game and then they threw in the Project Runway stuff at the last minute is what you're saying. That's what... Yeah. Well, that's what I'm thinking, you know, because they already had the game and then they got the license so so we're gonna I'm imagining all the show stuff had to come after pretty much they had the game done okay and it definitely seems like that because well we played it and you know it doesn't look <laughs> like a lot of thought went into it at least on the project runway side i mean okay yeah i might i might have the same thing yet <laughs> Tornado Studios' overall goal was to make a game that the whole family could play together. Do you think they accomplished that, <laughs> Eric? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> they didn't even make a game one person can play by yeah. themselves. Yeah. <laughs> the game was announced January 2010 and then released March 2nd, 2010. Do you want to take a guess about how much it cost when it came out to buy? I'm going to say they were shooting for the stars and they were charging the full $60 new game fee. Well, see, you would have been happy because it wasn't that much. It was only $40. What a steal. What a steal. <laughs> <laughs> only $40 yeah. for this. Wow. <laughs> the game's release also coincided with the seventh season of Project Runway. I thought it was the sixth season. Yes. The game is about the sixth season which was one of my fun facts <laughs> that you just stole from me. Oh, sorry. But <laughs> obviously, if it's about the sixth season, it can't come out when the sixth season comes out unless they're They sidekicks. didn't, like, give them free footage of the seventh season to include in their game? No. Wow. They did not plan this very well. If it came out with the seventh season and it was about the sixth season, that's just poor timing. Well, actually, it's pretty good timing because people are hyped up about the show. They have a good way to advertise the game because the show's on and they probably don't have to pay for that. True. So I think it's probably better timing. And then someone picks up the game and they're, the, they're like, this is the wrong season. I feel like I just went back into the past. I want the new stuff, not the old <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. Well, now that you stole one of my fun facts because... You know, I was going to talk about it being season six, but you jumped ahead. You can still say that. Do you want, you want to say it? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give you space. You can say that. No, it's fine. I'll just <laughs> skip that fun fact now. I couldn't find that many fun facts. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not that if surprised. you play the game, that's kind of an obvious thing. I couldn't find like anything on this game. I'm surprised you found something to talk about. Well, thankfully... The Tulsa, local Tulsa news people, they really are good at reporting stuff. So I was able to find some news articles from like Tulsa Daily wow. and like Channel 9 News Tulsa or something. I don't know. Thank you, Tulsa. Um, and I found like a couple of tweets from a long time ago. <laughs> I had to really dig. Okay. I had to yeah, really dig. I bet. But I guess I'll jump into some more fun facts All here. Right. Tom Kudirka. 
the owner of Tornado Studios, Mm -hmm. or one of them, said that his 14-year-old daughter helped him come up with the idea for the game. Wow. Can you believe that? (laughs) I can. I can absolutely believe that. Yeah. (laughs) Did did he also let her write the software for the game as well? (laughs) No. (laughs) And that leads into my third or my second, I guess, fun fact. How much money do you think it costs to make this game, Eric? I'm going to say at least $100. More. $1,000. Way more. Way, way, way more. $100,000. Way more. A million dollars. Way more. $2 million. <laughs> Two to $5 million. <laughs> Two was to five. The like range that it costs to make this game. How much of that <laughs> two to five million dollars was just the Project Runway IP itself? I don't know. Good I, question. I would imagine that would be most of that. <laughs> like maybe ninety five percent. I don't know. Maybe I'm not sure. Good question. But yeah. like I said, not a lot of information out there about this game. So that's all I got. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it was 50-50. Maybe half the license and then half was making it. Yeah. I mean, they only had six seasons at that point. So they just finished their 20th season. So Yeah. And someone had to take all those clips from the show and edit them and then reformat them for this game. So Mm -hmm. that would have taken at least several. Some time. Yeah. Yeah. Several dollars worth of time. Several dollars. (laughs) (laughs) So, Eric, do you want to talk about anything that you like about this game? <laughs> I, I want to start doing a overall rating system for the game. What? I want to introduce something. Oh. <laughs> Episode 64, I think. <laughs> what that, is it that you want to introduce? You, uh, haven't, you didn't tell me beforehand so I could work out like, you what can I do it on, it's, rating It's fine. Be. It's fine. You just do it on the fly. Okay. I want to give the game an overall score. Like before we get into the reviews, like, like one from a hundred. Yeah, you know, just one to five hot dogs. Whatever uh, you want to do, something out of something. No, it, no, you need to have. A, <laughs> you're the one that's introducing this thing. I feel you like it should be different for every game. Okay, I'll go ahead and do mine just to give you an example. Okay. Okay, so the game itself uses stars. You know, it mm-hmm. does like a one yes. out of five. So I am also going to do the same, and I'm going to give Project Runway negative 7,000 Uranuses. What? (laughs) So keep in mind... That does not make sense. 22,000 Uranuses is the equivalent mass of the sun, which in my rating system would be equivalent to one star. So Okay, you've confused everyone. (laughs) I'm giving it... Can it just be one out of five hot dogs here? I'm giving it negative a third of a star. Which would be about 7,000 okay. Uranuses. But if this is Yelp, you can't give zero stars. You have to give a one. That's the lowest. Yeah, but it's my own rating system. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If I wanted to give it a zero, I can do that because it's my rating system. Uh, if I okay. want to give it negative 7,000 Uranuses, I just like saying that. Mm. I, I feel like I should be able to do that. I don't like it. <laughs> I like structure. I like uh, there to be rules with things. Do you have a different proposal for a system? So one out of five stars, I will give it one star. Yeah, I'll give it the lowest possible. (laughs) It it can be one star if that's the lowest. Or, you know, in my system, it would be 7,000 Uranuses, negative 7,000. Okay, fine. But, you know. Yours is confusing. (laughs) Mine's easy. (laughs) All right. So what's something that you like about the game, Nikki? I like Project Runway, the show. I'm a huge fan of the show. I love Tim Gunn. He's the best. Well, I like Heidi. You probably love this game because there's lots of clips Mm -hmm. from the show and the game. Oh. Which I'm sure you got the basic feeling of watching the show from playing the game because they included so many clips. They included (laughs) so many quotes Mm -hmm. from the character. I bet it made you feel like you were right in the episode. I wish it did, but it didn't. So... The only good thing I can really say about this game is that I like the show that it's named after. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like anything about this game. Okay. I'll be honest. Well, I had a couple pros, even though I gave it negative 7,000 Uranuses. Mm-hmm. First pro, 
the menus are easy to navigate. <laughs> wow, we're getting really <laughs> basic. But are they though? You have to use the Wii remote. And it's motion sensor. Yeah, other than the... So if you're not good at that, it's not that easy. Yeah, not the picking the thing, the, the actual the trees. Oh, you know. okay. The menu trees are simple. All right. It's pretty straightforward. You know, you have your season, you have your designer studio, I think. You yeah. have your other games, options. and then you have your options. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're really reaching. <laughs> the other thing I liked is that the game auto saves. Okay, I have a pro. <laughs> The game worked in our Wii, and it didn't immediately get spat back out. Yeah, I feel like that wasn't a... I had a reason for this one. <laughs> so at one point during the Catwalk minigame, you get the choice. Uh, you can choose between the nunchuck or the um, the Wii board. Mm -hmm. I accidentally chose the Wii board. Uh-oh. It wouldn't let me start the mini game over, and instead it made me <laughs> force me out to the main menu. But when I continued the season, I started back at that mini game. So oh. I didn't have to do everything wow. again. The most basic things, autosave, which, you know, I have brought up before on other games, but that's because they were like roguelites or something where autosaving or something really counts. <laughs> this, the worst you have to do is recreate a couple outfits. I mean, can you really recreate some of the designs mm, I've yes, made? Yes, you can, exactly. <laughs> that's not that hard. I feel like it would be really tough to recreate some of, the, oh, yeah. some of my outfits. All right. You're so creative. <laughs> so, so now that we got the pros out of the way, do you have any cons? Oh, man. Well, you know, I said I wanted to pick a bad game, and I definitely did pick a bad game. You knocked that out of the park. If you find a game for $2 at a retro resale <laughs> video game store, it's probably not good. It's probably <laughs> not going to be good. I don't even know if it was worth the two whatever dollars we paid for it. I think it was just in, in this entertaining <laughs> episode that we're making. Okay. Yes. Only I'm, I'm going to say it was do an episode it. about it. But there's not, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things I don't like about this game. So I'll start with the first one. It just doesn't have a lot of the essence of the show. Like the show, it's really all about being as creative as possible, pushing your fashion to the limits, pushing fashion design, seeing what's next out there. They do give them challenges, which is kind of cool because it gives them parameters, you know. And then usually how it works is each week you get a challenge. But then if you make it to the end, you get to create your own collection pretty much yeah. based off how, whatever you want. You get to do whatever you want. I don't know. It's just missing a lot of that ultra creativity that you get from the show. So you don't have that many options as far as like colors go. You don't have that many options as far as designs of the basics you get to start out with you get like one skirt a couple pairs of pants you know like a couple dresses like to choose from base wise and then there's not that many patterns there's not that many decals to put on stuff like yeah i mean just it's so limited it's, with like your options especially if you're playing the season mode where it's specifically telling you to pick like these specific things you're really limited in what it even gives you as an option yeah like if you're doing like a hip-hop outfit it'll only give you points if you choose clothing labeled as hip-hop so if you wanted to mix it with something more untraditional then you can't really can't do that or you won't get points like maybe if you're on easy mode it wouldn't matter but like if you try to do it on medium or hard mode you're not going to get the points. What I was kind of surprised by was there actually is quite a few items in this game. And I did not get that impression at all playing the season because I felt like when I was playing the episodes in the season or the levels or whatever you want to call them, I was getting like the same articles of clothing over and over again. Yeah. And when you scrolled through them, you saw like the same ones and it felt like there were only two or three. But when I actually went into the studio, it's like there are like 30 dresses. There's like... 20 something tops there's like 16 or 17 bottoms it's like why didn't you put any of these in the season yeah. mode i mean I that's know. still not even that much though i mean it's, i guess that's more not, than but, what i thought yeah. but even with those you still only get like so many patterns and so many colors to choose from yeah like, you're, they could have given you any color in the rainbow for your fabrics but they give you like 10 colors 
and they don't even inc- you know there's like some basic ones in there i feel like they don't even have you don't want like ocean spray or granite or clay clay like, clay colored <laughs> yeah i just love the color clay i mean it looks good on some people but like it's not one of one of the, my like top 15 colors i would pick but yeah it's like you can kind of tell like mostly men designed this game i think too <laughs> that's weird because there's no uh men's clothing at all we, yeah. i guess project runway you're only designing clothing for women yeah year, i right? mean occasionally they have challenges for men's clothing or like in some of the newer seasons they like give you more freedom with what models you choose and stuff but back then season six it's pretty much the, all women unless it was like a a challenge based on men's wear. It was mostly all women, yeah. Yeah, I got you. What's uh, uh, one of your cons, Eric? So first of all, I probably need to recognize that I'm not the game's target demographic. <laughs> the target audience would be fans of the show who haven't learned that video games based on movies and TV shows are usually complete garbage and just a cash grab for the company selling them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so unfortunately that was probably... a hard lesson for some people who are buying this game i don't think anyone is the target market for this <laughs> you don't game. think anyone falls in the target <laughs> audience okay i can't imagine anyone that would like this game i think it would be too complicated for young people and then it's like too easy and boring for older people but if you average that out you kind of get the family right i don't know which was their target demographic yeah. from what you said so, yeah i don't know so One of my cons is that I'm pretty sure Project Runway is a show about designing clothes. (laughs) Yeah. You don't actually design any clothes in this game. Yeah. You just choose from pre-made clothes. And then you pick the colors and patterns. Yes. I mean, I (laughs) I don't expect like a full array of clothing design options in a game like this, but it would have been nice if they at least like tried to do something to give you the feeling that you're designing stuff like, you know, kind of like guitar hero gives you the feeling of playing guitar without actually making you learn how to play guitar. Mm -hmm. I feel like they could have done something where you actually feel like you're making the design or you're doing something really creative. Yeah. Like why can't you just cut out your own shapes from fabric? Yeah, exactly. I mean, Maybe not a whole pattern, but like if you wanted a skirt, at least cut out the shape of the skirt you wanted and like, I don't know. I think there's just more that could have been done. Or they could have given you like just a, either like a full sheet or they could have given you like a shirt template and then you could have cut your own design from that shirt template yeah. or something like that. I think that would have been a lot better. Yeah. And one of the main cool things about the show, it's been around since the beginning, is they always go to the store called Mood and it's a really cool fabric store and it has all these different fabrics and stuff like you know, just a whole aisle of leather, a whole aisle of like tool, you know, or whatever, jersey. And like, I feel like that would have been cool. Like you have like a certain amount of time to pick out like what fabric you're going to use or something. And then like you make your clothes. Clo- yeah. Like a, a budget for the fabric. Yeah. Like, and then you can combine different fabrics together. Yeah. Or I think the problem with this is it was already made. Like they already had the game pretty much like laid out planned out and then they got the license and so like they didn't really go in when they started this game thinking it was going to be project runway i think if they would have they probably could have like meshed the two together better you think they would have made a successful game if they had started with the concept rather than the concept I mean, of their own i don't game? know if it would be successful but it would be better than this i think probably yeah so one of my cons is that When you play a level in a season, you basically have four mini games to do, and they're all terrible. Yeah. (laughs) Three of them play pretty much exactly the same. You follow the recipe the game gives you, and then you add extra mandatory items like decals, I think, are mandatory extra Mm -hmm. things you have to add. Yeah, or patterns or whatever. They usually give you the pattern, but the color of the pattern is the thing you have to choose. Well, you can choose, or you can just make it white. (laughs) So yeah, you have like a timer, you have a green bar letting you know if you've made enough of the correct choices. And that's pretty much it for those three. You can't really fail them. Yeah, unless you just don't read the list and you just do whatever you want, you're not going to fail. Yeah, if you run out of time, basically it asks you if you want to try again. So that's not even really a problem. You just start over. 
And then the other one is like a photo shoot. It's a catwalk. Oh, so you're not counting the photo shoot mode as that's a, a fifth, mini game? That's a fifth one that oh. I'll talk about later. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Actually, I don't have that anywhere else later. So <laughs> it's a fifth game that, yeah, we don't... It was pointless. Like It was pointless. It, it's not even part of the regular season. I, I don't know why it's there. But yeah, then you have the catwalk, which is probably the worst of the four mini games, <laughs> in my opinion. Like, do you think it would have been better if we had the board? No. <laughs> It's all motion controls, kind of like Just Dance, except you're doing really repetitive motions over and over again. Yeah. And then you have these... I mean, yeah, it's like swing your arm to the right, swing your arm to the left, push up with your arm. Yeah, and then you'll get these like pose moments where you have to kind of waggle the controller and you know, just to get it to register. Waggle. I like that word. Waggle. Yeah. Waggle in the wee Wiggle and Wiggle (laughs) and toggle. Waggle. We was the king of waggles. Waggling. (laughs) But yeah, it's just like just dance, just not as creative or fun. And then sometimes like the game, it's kind of difficult to get the game to recognize your input because it is motion controls. It's like you have to hold the controller a certain way. Mm -hmm. And then you have to score a certain level on the catwalk because again, this is the part of the game where it actually matters what you score. (laughs) Yeah. Because if you don't score high enough, all the other things you did, you just basically wasted your time and you have to start all the way over. Yeah. It doesn't let you redo the catwalk. Yeah. You don't get to redo the the other things. If you don't get your outfit right, it lets you redo it. But like the catwalk, you get one shot. And then you got to start the entire level over, which I mean, the levels (laughs) don't take that long to do. They probably take like, what, 15 minutes or something, 20 minutes to get through a a level. Yeah, it depends on how creative you're really trying to be. Yeah, it's still just... If you're just simply trying to do the tasks on the list and you're just like, blah, 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 you can get it done really fast. (laughs) Well, I mean, if you want to be creative, you have that option outside of the season mode where it's just mandatorily telling you like what to pick. You could actually go into the workshop and make something without the timer. I'm just saying, if you're, uh, you know, type A personality, you're creative, <laughs> and you want to like do it right every time, then it's going to take you a little longer. If you don't care and you're willy nilly with it, then you can get it done faster. <laughs> oh, whatever. All right, what's something else you didn't like? This game just feels so stale. Even when you are doing the catwalk thing, it's just it feels stale. Like when they have the judges like critiquing your outfits, it's like poor audio. It's the worst quotes that like they could have pulled. (laughs) I'm pretty sure they just watched the first two episodes and they pulled all the quotes from there. I love the pan of the judges where it like it pans to the judge and it it doesn't even look like a model or three. It's not a 3D model. It just looks like a 2D cardboard cutout. Yeah, it's just like a cutout. A Photoshop cutout picture of the judge with their quote up on the screen. The audio's bad. It has nothing to do with your actual outfit. And then when they do show Heidi and Tim, it's like they're just also cardboard cutouts <laughs> on the screen with their quotes. And it's just like, if this was planned out more, you know, they could have worked with the judges, obviously, and got more quotes that had to do with, like, the different designs that were planned in there. You know, like, if it was a butterfly design, Nina could say something about the butterflies. Yeah, I mean... Like, I know maybe that would have been more complicated back in 2009. <laughs> but it's just... It feels very disconnected whenever you're having to do, like, get your clothing critiqued or whatever. It's like... Yeah, it's, okay, this is stupid. It's pretty clear that they pulled all the audio from the show itself and they didn't have yeah. any of them like record any lines. They also, I was actually surprised to learn that in the history that this company kind of specialized in uh, 3D modeling. Yeah. Because, well, that's what they do now. You know, like when oh, I look at their okay. website now, it, it looks oh, really okay. nice. Like they do a really good job. And uh, I don't necessarily think like the game looks that bad. Like the game part. I mean, they could have made 3D but, models of the judges or Tim Gunn or yeah. some of the characters. Yeah, so you're not know. just looking at cardboard cutouts. I'm not really sure. It doesn't <laughs> seem like they had that long of a time frame if they wanted to release this like when the seventh season came out. So who knows? It's like there probably was more stuff that went on behind the scenes than we know as far as like all that goes. Yeah. But yeah, it just feels so, stale. Yeah. I said half baked. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much had the same thing. And then I also mentioned that, yeah, they just do that 
photo shoot mini game in and then connect it to the season at all? Why not yeah. just connect it in some fashion? They or don't some even degree? hardly ever show photo shoots on that show unless like the challenge is specifically for an editorial look or something. That's what I'm saying is change up. You have what, like eight challenges that are all exactly the same format. Mm-hmm. Maybe change up the format and throw the photo shoot instead of the catwalk or something. Yeah. And another really well-known thing about Project Runway, they'll do like an unconventional materials challenge or something like that. That would have been a cool thing to throw in. So you have to make a outfit out of like old tires and straws or like whatever they give you. It's always different things each time. But, you know, there's a lot of fun things they could have did more with. And, like, being a fan of the show, it just is, like, a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally understand. I'm not a fan of the show, and I was disappointed. <laughs> oh, Eric, you're not a fan of the show now? Well, I mean, I think the show's okay. It's not the worst. <laughs> well, you only watch some of the episodes from season six. You need to watch, like, a, some new episodes. I've, I've watched it before. The, the quality is a lot better, man. Like, the camera footage from, like, 2009 is... <laughs> Whew, grainy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it, it's fine. Like, I've, I've seen it before, and I've always thought it was, like, okay, not my cup of tea, but, like, at least it's better than a lot of the other reality shows out there. <laughs> so one of my complaints is they didn't bother to make any kind of a story or even try to give you the impression that there are other contestants you're competing with. It feels like, you know, it's a pass or fail system yeah. for everything. You don't get to see any of the other designs or like the other yeah. scores or anything like that. So you just kind of get this really isolated feeling when you're playing mm-hmm. it that it's really just you and your dark room <laughs> and no one else <laughs> and the is judges. there. That's it. <laughs> yeah. They kind of do play like bio clips of like certain characters from the season, like before each challenge. Yeah. So you're kind of like playing as that contestant or whatever but it doesn't really translate over like very well yeah i was gonna say the interspersed clips from the show specifically from season six episode one like (laughs) almost all of them yeah (laughs) it feels random and unnecessary it's like okay if i wanted to watch the show i could just watch the show exactly so there are quotes from the show in the loading screen yeah we already talked about this they're bad (laughs) yeah almost all of the quotes are from the first episode of season six everything's from the first or second episode Uh, they're not particularly great or interesting quotes and the worst ones are the tim gunn quotes so i wrote down so generic i wrote down some of my favorites okay my favorite tim gunn quotes are you gonna say it like you're tim gunn i'll try all right very proper distinguished okay (laughs) only at the beach (laughs) that's it (laughs) that's the quote only at the beach okay okay what is that okay innovation is key (laughs) that sounds like one of those posters you'd see at work like a an ape hanging from a vine or something (laughs) i love the idea wow go 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 and then i like how they have this different one let's Go, go, go. <laughs> I actually have those as separate Wow, quotes. so different. Is anyone listening to me? And uh, my last one, that's my line. He actually <laughs> says that in the intro to the show. Yeah, that's because someone, one of the other contestants says, make it work. And yeah. that's his like catchphrase. I feel like there were probably better Tim Gunn quotes than the oh, ones yeah, for sure. that he used in this game. Yeah, Tim Gunn is the best. He has awesome quotes. Those are like just probably just pieces of quotes from him. I feel like the people who made this game literally only watched one episode, episode one of yeah. season six, and that's all they watched. Yeah, I, I agree. Okay, yeah, we can move on to strategy. Okay, do what the list says. It gives you a to-do list. You just do the things and yeah, you're done. That's good. Cool. Yeah. Do it faster than when the timer runs out. Don't try to be creative at all. Don't don't waste your time being creative. I mean, if you're on hard mode, they do not give you any time. You just have to pick, pick, pick. Don't put it on hard Mm -hmm. mode. That's Mm -hmm. a good piece of strategy advice. (laughs) If you're going to waste your time, at least waste your time where it's easier. Yeah. 
So during the catwalk mini game, there's a green ball that goes back and forth between two speakers. Mm -hmm. Try to use that to get the timing and direction of the instructions. Like when the ball bounces left, that's usually when you're doing the left thing. Yeah. If you get it backwards, it's not going to count. Yeah, true. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, good, good, good tip there, Eric. Thanks. I got, I got another one. Okay. During the catwalk mini game, you'll have sections where it gives you specific motions to do with the controller. Ignore the instructions and instead waggle the controller at random. Most of the time, this will cause the move to be registered correctly. Wow. <laughs> so helpful. Just waggle that controller. Just waggle it. Waggle, waggle it hard. It just a little bit. <laughs> do you have anything um, else? No. <laughs> this game is just so easy. I don't really think anyone would have a hard time. Yeah. You don't really need much strategy for this game. <laughs> My last one is play a different game. Yeah. If you want a game with more fashion options, play The Sims. (laughs) True. Yeah, there's probably a lot of other better fashion games out there. Yeah. So future stuff. I didn't really find anything for the future. There's not going to be another Project Runway game as far as I can tell. Thank God. Um, (laughs) There probably will be like a new season, but I don't think they've announced like the next season of the show, but... That really has nothing to do with the video game. Yeah. So I know, like, I kind of learned this from you. I think that Tim Gunn and Heidi Klum are now on a different show yeah. called Making the Cut. Yeah. And so it's like Project Runway still exists, though, but with different mm-hmm. hosts. Yeah, they have uh, Christian Siriano, who was a former winner, and he's a really big... He went on to be a really big fashion designer now. He's the new Tim Gunn, the mentor. They still have Nina on there. And then the, they have a couple other judges that are like the same. But it's still good. But their new show is also pretty good. Okay. So. It's both, just different. So both are pretty good. I like them both. Good to know. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Nothing else. All right. So Eric, did you beat all the challenges on uh, hard mode? I actually did. Yeah. I honestly wasn't mm. really even going to try, but I, I mean, it wasn't that hard. But so. I don't know if you really did because like, I was like, show me proof. And you're like, oh, there's no way <laughs> to show. Yeah. You get, when you beat all eight episodes, you basically get one screen saying congratulations. Mm-hmm. And if you hit a too quick, it goes away and you can't bring it back up again. Sure. And then you can't get back into the season. <laughs> It'll just give you the option of starting a new season. So you, if you don't like sure. stop and admire that completed uh, season screen, you're hmm. pretty much screwed. So, so I I'm just supposed to believe you. Yes. I think you should still rap because okay. you don't have proof. I mean, to show the people to show the listeners, you know? Yeah, that, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> I'll wrap. All right. Fashion is my passion with a caption of doom. I'm fast in the obstruction and reaction to gloom. Did I finish too soon? I'm attuned with the moon. I cause a room to bloom. Bitch, it ain't no costume. I real scar from bees. They start the heart with ease. I made stars from leaves. They fall apart to please. Are they greaves? Are they sleeves? You wear them on your knees to appease the trees. Okay, they're just capris. Got an itch to stitch. Gonna ditch the twitch. It's not a glitch. I'm a pitch above the niche. I enrich the rich. Your witch witch is witch. You're a bitch and you're worse than Abercrombie and Fitch. Whoa, sweet raps, Eric, Thanks. as always. Yeah. I assume Abercrombie and Fitch is an insult in the fashion world. I think so. Call they used to be big. Now they're not, but they're kind of making a comeback. I assume just like any generic clothing line is probably going to be an insult. You think Abercrombie and Fitch is a generic clothing line? Yes. Are, are they not generic? They're I would like, say they're generic. They're like t-shirts and like. I don't know. What else do they sell? Oh, okay. Well, when I think of generic, I think of like a Walmart brand or something. Well, was, not a generic you know. brand, but they're like <laughs> generic clothes. Okay. So oh, I see. That you just be don't like, like their style. I, I mean, I don't care about it's their style. Preppy. I just it's think too, it would, It's too plain and preppy for you. I just think it would be an insult for fashion people. Okay, I yes. assume it would be an insult it, it is. I think people. so. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> anyway. Are you excited to get to hear what your game is going to be? You mean our game? Your game specifically. <laughs> what? I mean, you're going to play it too. Yeah, you know, I'll play it. 
you mean my it's our game but my challenge your game and challenge <laughs> Whatever. our game your challenge i guess our game my challenge okay so do you want to take any guesses what console is it on <laughs> i gotta narrow it down somehow okay it's on nintendo Ugh, okay it's gonna be old i don't know super mario brothers <laughs> it's a game you've been waiting for me to pick Oh, a Mega Man game? Yes. Oh, no. I was wanting to pick Mega Man so I could pick the challenge. You're too late. 64 uh, episodes is waiting too late. All right. Which Mega Man game, first of all? Mega Man 2. Okay. That's a good one, I think. Yeah. That I one of the better early about. games. Yeah. Okay. And your challenge is beat all eight robot masters <gasps> no that's isn't that the beat the game no basically you don't have to worry about beating the wily levels which are the toughest levels in the game so just all the other villains just whatever. all the robot masters eight? Oh man i'm probably gonna have to wrap <laughs> <laughs> i am not platforming is not my best skill so I'll try my best. You'll get to work but, on uh, improving. We will see how it goes. All right. All right. Till next time. Bye. Bye. As always, if you like this episode, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or rate us on Spotify. We also have a really cool website, pressanybutton.net, where we now have merch. So if you want to get yourself a cool little ornament for the holidays, we have Press Any Button ornaments. So check it out. And as always, thank you for listening. <laughs>